Okay, so this is to help you prepare for a grade one level Royal Conservatory of Music uh, voice exam uh, with respect to the technical requirements, the musicianship areas. So one thing you're going to have to do, the first item on the syllabus is a clap back. So the examiner is going to play a short melody, um, two or three measures. You're gonna listen to it two times that they're gonna play it and then you're gonna clap the melody back that you hear. So let me grab a book real quick. I'll give you an example of what that's going to be like. So something from the grade one book would be like this. Let me play it two times. You can try and do it at home. So it would be like this. And then they'll play it again a second time. And you would clap. Okay, so that's the first part of the test. Then the next part is intervals. So they are going to play an interval for you that you're going to have to be able to listen and hear and be able to name. There's only two options, a major third and a minor third. It can be going up, which is ascending, called ascending, or down, which is called descending. So a major third going up sounds like this. A major third going down sounds like this. Now likewise, a minor third going up, ascending, sounds like this. I find this one easier to remember because that's O Canada. We sing it all the time uh, on the ascending. And then descending is. So that's for listening to intervals. There will also be a section for intervals that you have to sing those intervals. So they could say, here's, a, um, here's the note. They want you to sing a major third above this. So you're allowed to sing the note they give you. Oh, and then you're going to sing. bring it back to the starting note. Um, or they could ask you also to sing it going down. Now of course they can also ask you for the minor third. So the minor third, let's do it on a different note in case they do that to you. So in case they give you a different starting note. So if we're going to sing it above, or going down. So you have to be versatile in both of those, in being able to hear and being able to sing. Now you're next going to be asked to um, identify chords, major and minor chords. Major, of course, are rather bright sounding. Minor are a little bit darker. Okay, so they're going to play one of those for you. They're going to say, I want you to identify one of these chords. And then you, the response for that will be either major or minor. Major, minor. When they ask you to identify intervals, you're going to have to say major third or minor third because intervals denote space. It tells us how big something is, how big the, the space is between two notes. So when they ask you to name the intervals, you do have to give not just the quality of major or minor, but also the size of major or minor. Okay, and then you're going to be given a sing back. So again, the examiner is going to play a short little melody, um, roughly five notes long, and then they're gonna play it two times for you. And then you're gonna have to sing it back and you can sing it on any vowel that you want. You can sing it on A, ah, O, oh, E, A, whatever is easy for you. So they might play something, let's say like this. Play it again. And then you'll be expected to sing it. Back for them. Okay, so you're going to have to listen and then sing that back. And then the last portion of your musicianship is rhythm and sight singing. So let's just do one of those as well. Um, 
because this is something that sometimes trips up students. So I'm going to use an example. Um, I wish I could put it on my screen, but I'm not that tech savvy just yet with making these. But um, so what you're going to be doing is get out, of course, one of your um, sight singing uh, pieces that you've got. You should be working from a book. I like to use Sight Singing for Success by Joan Heels. Uh, she's got an excellent resource for kids that are um, learning uh, Royal Conservatory or Canada Conservatory methods. So you can use them for both of those and, and they're downloadable resources, very reasonably priced and they're really good. So anyways, there's my unabashed plug for uh, Joan. Uh, anyways, so I'm looking at a pattern that has three eighth note pairs followed by a quarter note, done twice. So it's two eighth notes, two eighth notes, two eighth notes, quarter note. Two eighth notes, two eighth notes, two eighth notes, quarter note. So what they're going to expect you to do is to be able to tap this. So my left hand is going to tap the rhythm of it, or the beat, I'm sorry. So one and, two and, three and, four and. And my right hand is going to join while tapping the rhythm that's on the page in front of me. So in this case, it's the eighth notes and quarter notes. One and, two and, three and, four and. One and, two and, three and, four and. So you're gonna notice the left hand is strictly tapping quarter notes. It's kind of like tapping your foot to a beat. It's just going one, two, three, four. It's not doing eighth notes. It's not following the rhythm of the right hand. It's strictly doing the quarter notes while the right hand is doing exactly what you see on the page in front of you. So again, let me try it again and watch what I'm doing carefully so that you can apply it to your examples in front of you. So T, 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 ta. T, 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 ta. Okay, so that's that for that. Um, the only other thing that, that will be part of your um, exam in terms of the technical and musicianship portion of it are your technique tests and you have four for grade one. You have a major five note scale that you need to be able to sing on any given vowel that the examiner gives you. You have a minor five note scale, a major triad, and a minor triad. So you need to have those memorized when you're getting ready for this exam. The first one will sound like this. And they might say, sing it on awe. And then they're going to ask you for the second one, number two, a minor five. And the trick with this one is getting that minor third. And then you are going to be given number three, the major triad. So of course a triad is skipping notes. It's not going to sing all five. It's going to leave out the second and the fourth note. And then the last one is the minor triad. So you really need to be clear on number one, that minor interval, that minor third, so that you're getting it fully. You're, you're really grabbing hold of the darker quality of the five note scale and the triad. And then you also have to be very clear on how each of those sound so that the five note, tri or five note scales are literally five notes going up and five notes coming down. The triad, of course, is going to be the skipping notes. Da, 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 do, mi, so, mi, do. Whereas the scale is do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do, if you're familiar with solfege. So that is the technique and musicianship part of the grade one, um, a level one Royal Conservatory Music singing exam. Good luck as you prepare.